music actually change how we feel? Yes. <laughs> yes is the answer to that question. Music actually has the power to change our emotion. Music has incredible inductive power and it can actually change our brain chemistry quite profoundly. I One only has to think of one's own experiences to know that yes, it can change your mood. These neurochemical changes are associated with experiential changes and physiological changes. We have changes in our breathing, our heart rate changes when we listen to music. So it's not surprising that we feel differently. It's very complex how music impacts our emotions. You could think about the brainstem reflex. That's like a knee-jerk reaction to music rooted in a fear response. When you think of movie scores, that's often taken advantage of. I won't cry, I won't cry, no I won't shed a tear just as long as you stand, stand by me. Our autobiographical experiences have a big part to play in how music can change our emotions. The reminiscence bump is the period in your life when music plays a very special role, and it's usually adolescence. As an emerging person, with an emerging identity, for a lot of people, the music that they heard when they were a teenager in some ways represents who they are at your core, even if now you don't really like it. Self-regulating emotions is goal-directed. And so sometimes that goal is internally driven. So maybe I wanna pump myself up a bit and I want to get to maybe a more energetic type of mood state. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. I may select a song that I associate with that feeling. Sometimes it's externally driven as well. Let's say you're in one sort of, let's say just a neutral type of mood state, and maybe you go into a store and you hear one of the songs over the PA system, and it's a song that you happen to like. Well, you didn't go into the store being like, I'm gonna go in here and feel better. <laughs> But because you hear that song, it shifts how you're feeling. I'm yours. Whereas the human voice can be expressive, music uses some of the same cues or signals of emotion, but it can do it in a super expressive way and then elicits emotions that are even deeper than the kind of emotions that we get from listening to someone's tone of voice. We like music both for the sound, but also for what motivated the music in the first place. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you. Everything you do. And so I was thinking about the song Yellow by Coldplay. Yeah, they were all yellow. There's a sense in which the singer is intentionally communicating a sense of vulnerability. And that gives us a sense of a person who is authentically trying to communicate something. And that authenticity seems to be something that is, is also very important. It is absolutely possible to have a shift in our mood and our emotions on the first hearing of a song. In that case, the familiarity comes to play in our familiarity with how it's structured. When it comes to the harmonic structure and the form and the melodic structure and the rhythms used. 